Hello, it's NaNoWriMo. <sighs> Here we go again, trying to make this vlog for about the third time in a, in a year in a row, third year in a row, fourth year in a row. I try to make this vlog all the time. So I'm gonna quickly debrief you on how this vlog's gonna work. I'm gonna quickly debrief you on what I'm working on. And then we're going to get started with the word count. Today is day one. I had a fun day. I had a massage. It was like the best massage of my life. And I wrote over 2,000 words. I'm going to tell you in the corner, either this corner or that corner, I haven't decided yet, um, what my word count is every day. And it will go up every day, hopefully. That's the hope. And then I'm going to tell you what show I'm watching because I have a lot of shows to catch up on. So for example, today I'm on season three of Love is Blind. I'm still in the first episode because I watched like the little Where Are They Now? of season two and then I started watching it and I listened to a lot of music today. I'm working on four projects this year because I literally could not make up my mind but don't fret they are all rewrites. So the first one is a full rewrite of a story I wrote actually for my first year of NaNoWriMo. If you go to my NaNoWriMo profile you can see it. I'll probably leave it down below we'll find out. Anyways it's from year one. The second one is a partial rewrite because I only wrote the first six or seven chapters from it. Actually, I think I wrote about ten chapters from it and I didn't know where it was going and now I have a better idea of where it's going so I want to restart it. The third one is the one that I worked on today and I'm almost on chapter one. I had written the first four chapters so it's a partial rewrite but I didn't like my voice or where I was, how I was sounding when I was writing it so I'm re restarting it because I think it's way better now. I'm actually really enjoying myself right now which is why I wrote over 2,000 words today. And the fourth one is technically a full rewrite but I have rewritten the first five chapters already and I like it way better now so I'm just going to continue on from those first five chapters. Everything is in a Scrivener folder, everything is set up and cue now to put in my word count for today because today I took the day off work just to write and it was literally the best day ever. I cannot wait. I'm so motivated this year so I'm funny. Like I cannot wait for this year. So go me. I hope you all are having fun too. Even though we've just started, you're not going to see this till December, so here's to hoping. Hey guys, I'm a pro drifter now. Um, I haven't started writing yet today, but I will work on story number three while watching Love is Blind season three, and I'm also going to watch The School for Good and Evil finally in the movie on Netflix, so excited about that. But if you want to see my pro drifting, this is, this is what happened this morning. Um, do you see that snow? That's garbage, absolute garbage. And driving in it, just the worst. You can kind of see the highway over there. So winter is here. Winter will be gone tomorrow because we're getting a schnook. So all fun. Today was rough, but because yesterday I hated everything that I wrote. So I rewrote it today and then wrote more stuff, which is good enough, but I'm kind of disappointed in myself. I should have done better. I should have done better on day two so that I didn't have to suffer on day three, you know? But we did it, we're okay, and I painted my nails, so. Success, I guess. Um, hopefully one day I'll stop updating in the dark. I'm freezing cold, I watched Anola Holmes too, and I wrote like a very tiny bit. Tomorrow is Saturday, it will be better, I promise. If I'm not at the doctor's office waiting, for a walk-in for five hours. It will be better. We'll see what happens. Um, scariest drive home of my life. I don't know why I said it like that, but I thought I was gonna die today, so. I always film these in like creepy lighting, don't I? I always update my writing at night. I always write at night, cause like this desk during the sunset, light right in my eyes, so like it's not ideal. Writing is fine. I'm kind of uninterested in what I'm writing, my story, so I think I gotta switch to a different story. Um, switch to number two, I think. I'm watching Young Justice, by the way, so I was gonna update what I'm watching, but uh, I've also decided I'm gonna be a dungeon master, so do you wanna see my collection? Let's go, shall we? This is what I did. I have this starter set, just FYI. That's in here, it's not in the other collection, so. Here's all the light in my house. That's it. That's the collection. Wow. I have a gremlin brain that needs to be pleased. We all knew that, right? Thank God. I don't even know what day it is, but I wrote again. I wrote. Update my workout. This is crazy. 
currently the vibe. Um, candy, nails, um, this is YouTube planning, more candy, more nails, um, Young Justice, hot chocolate, writing, and a space heater to keep me warm. And this is my weekend. I have an immense amount of regret <clears throat> over the decision for my main book that I'm writing, or story that I'm writing in this, the one that I put on my NaNoWriMo. I have a lot of regret about that one being a romance novel. I am in chapter five. I have 10,000 words. I hate everything. Why, why am I doing romance? Why, somebody shoot me. writing, uh, I am having a rough time writing dates, and I'm writing a romance novel. So I'm watching Rick and Morty, because that's just so inspirational for dates, you know? That's, that's my update. I hate everything about dates.
I fully tilted like the the back screen fully thinking that was gonna do something but it didn't um, and did not angle the camera like I fully expected it to in other news the Walmart's Christmas mug slab and you all need to see how cute these are for like $4 okay get a Christmas mug I am normally I haven't been Christmassy and like in the mood for a while for a couple of years but I think this is the year that I'm finally gonna get back in the Christmas mood I think this is my year welcome to the end of the vlog um, this vlog is a bit chaotic, but I actually completed something this year, so I'm pretty happy enough with it to upload it. Otherwise, you would have never seen this, would have never met the light of day, but I am pretty pleased with it. Um, but I never finished it off, and it's already December, and I already have my December cold. It's already here. I'm annoyed. Anyways, this was my final word count. You see it somewhere on screen. I don't know which way it goes, but it goes somewhere. <laughs> and I'm actually pretty happy with it. Based on my life and where I'm kind of at right now, this was a pleasant surprise to me how much I actually got done because I moved my hyper focus from writing to Dungeons and Dragons and it was the fact that I even got 25 days of writing in was insane. Yeah, I didn't write the whole th time. I even took off the 30th but I ended up having the 30th like just packed full of appointments so I couldn't even sit down and write which is totally fine. I wrote for 25 days. Um, I did do better than I did last year which is generally my goal. Last year I think I only hit 5,000 words and this year it was like 15,000. Hell yeah, go me. And I stuck mostly to project number three that I was working on and I got like six chapters in or something. So like 15,000 words for six chapters. I think I worked on project number two and I wrote a couple hundred words for it. So I didn't really deviate from project number three, which was part of my issue is like, I kept getting stuck on the dates because it was a romance novel and I'm like, okay, they need to go on a date. Okay, they need to go on another date. And it was just like such a secretive date with such expense spent on it in the way that I had designed these characters and everything that was going on that I was just like, I can't write this. I don't know what to do with this. So it was, it was very, I'm not good at dates. If anybody read any of my stuff that I wrote in high school, almost all of my badass female main characters went paintballing. And you know me, I don't fucking like paintballing. So it was just like, I had people on Wattpad reading my books and they're like, hey, both your characters want a paintball date. And I was like, I literally can't think of anything else. So I don't know why my brain was like, oh yeah, she can write a real romance novel. I can't even write a werewolf romance. They all go paintballing. <laughs> So that's kind of what happened, but I am very pleased with myself. I'm very happy that this got me back into writing, even though my writing... Project number one is a world that I can use for Dungeons and Dragons, and that's kind of what set it off. I was like, oh, I should work on this one. Just kidding. I can make a homebrew. <laughs> oh my god, it's been a rough time. You have no idea. But overall, really good. In TV show news, I finished Young Justice season one and like half of season two. I finished all of Rick and Morty. I watched all of it in like the month of November. I watched all of Chainsaw Man, like I'm caught up to date as we speak. I have watched, I watched, um, I'm still watching Love is Blind, I didn't get very far in that. What else was I watching? I'm caught up in 911, but I'm always caught up in that one. I watch it live on TV, so no problems there. And there's like other stuff. I watch a bunch of movies. I'm like caught up on so much TV though. This writing has given me so much TV time and I love it. I'm excited for season four of Too Hot to Handle though. That's gonna like deviate all my plans and I'm going straight to that as soon as it's out. So just a little life update, but thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope it was somewhat entertaining. I am proud of it. So I hope that some of you enjoy this, but November was a bit chaotic, I will admit. And maybe one day I'll have enough vacation days to just take off the entire month, and go live a ca in a cabin in the woods, in the mountains and just like spend the whole month writing. Writing and reading, let's be honest. I didn't read a whole lot in November, I will say that. I think I finished two books and DNF'd too, so wrap up for that coming soon, hopefully. I didn't even focus on YouTube. I haven't edited a single thing in November, which is why this one is coming out soon. I have plans, I have big plans. But thank you so much for watching. I hope it was enjoyable, and I'll see you all in the next video.